Freedom! 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 You can keep your fucking restrictions to yourself. You freedom. can keep your freedom to yourself. We've been free from day one. We don't follow your freedom. freedom. You can't tell us when we're free or when we're not free. Um, freedom! I, I didn't come out here to get no freedom. I come out here to chill with the people. Anybody come out here to get their freedom, they ain't ready for their, their, their mind is still fucked up. That's right. You understand what I mean? I'm out here to have, a, have fun with my people. Fuck you mean freedom? You can't give me freedom. Freedom! You understand me? What up, brother? You know what I mean? So people need to, un that's what I'm saying, I keep saying it every week. The people, a lot of the people in the movement not understand what the fuck is going on. People still coming out here, coming with a mindset of trying to change these people's mind. These people cannot rule us anymore. Simple as that. So why are you worried about going to a pub and we can't go to a pub because and we can't go to a club? What do you mean by that? Don't you see the game they're playing? You're playing the game. You understand what I mean? Let's stop playing these people fucking game. These people can't give us any fucking freedom. We're already suffering beings. Inalienable rights, giving up birth, cannot be taken away. Sister, listen, listen, people, these government, I don't think people understand it. These governments cannot rule us anymore. So why are we going to these places asking for our freedom? We need to make sure they leave every single one of them that is signing these things to leave. The, the people never fucking consent. The people never consent to none of this fuckery. Did we consent? Did you guys consent? No. None of us never consent to this. So who are these people? These people go to go in the house, they go to the toilet, they shit. Just like me and you, probably the shit stinker than me and you. So who are they? Why are, why are we worried about people have a shower in the morning, put on some clothes and go and go somewhere and tell us what to do? Uh, this is what I don't understand with the people, man. I hear people still here worried that, oh yeah, they didn't, they didn't do it. Why are you surprised that they didn't do that? I didn't come here for that. I didn't come here with the hope that these people are going to change their mind. The only people the people have is the people themselves. You see, anytime people start understanding that, I've been saying this for months. People, get off your ass and go and do outreach on the street every week. Make groups and go do outreach. When you do outreach on the street every week, you're reaching the people. You are reaching the people. When you speak on the internet every time, you're speaking to the same fucking peoples. I keep saying it. People scared to say these things because they don't want to piss people off. We're not here for friendship. Friendship is going to come naturally. If people don't like to hear the truth, fuck them. But it is the truth. We are shadow banned on the internet. Leave off the internet. Let's work on the internet. 5% of work on the internet. Post what you got to post on the internet. But you have the knowledge. We are the chosen ones. We have the knowledge. So why are we sitting down? And, and expecting things to change because we post something on the internet and then we say we do our job and we're saving the children. If you really want to save the children and you, and, you, and you want to stand up for what you really say, get the fuck up and go on the street and go and do outreach. At least once or twice a week. We're not asking for much. We're not asking for much. Do once, twice a week. Don't say you leave your house and you go to the shop and you, tell, and you change somebody's mind and you say, oh yeah, I did outreach. That is not commitment. You was going to a fucking shop. Every one of us do, do that. But when you go somewhere and you decide to so listen, I'm gonna bring some, I'm gonna bring some 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 billboard with some with some signs on it. I'm gonna play the music, I'm gonna keep the music on repeat. It triggered the people reaction. I've seen it. I've got I've got few hundred fucking people every week on my Instagram. New people. Because I'm not trying to reach to the same fucking people. Why are we speaking to each other here? Why are we speaking to each other here? People come here just to speak to the same people. Why? I'm not interested in that. Hey, music. Oh, brother, brother, let me see. Get up, people, get up and go and do the work. Get up and go and do the work. Don't, you can be pissed off with me all you want, no problem, but I'm telling you, if every single one of us, look how many people here. If everybody here go out every week and do outreach, you know what it is? Powerful, we cover the whole fucking UK. You understand what I mean? And then we get the new people. Even the vaccinated people, I'm sorry, but these people are gonna have to come on board because it's gonna be four shots. 
Yeah. It's gonna be four shots. Even the vaccinated people, they're gonna have to come on board, unfortunately. You understand what I mean? I know, I know they're shedding on whatever the case may be, but until it reaches four shots, some people are dying from two shots. But the four shots is gonna be the nail in the coffin for these people. We still have to save these people. And in order to save these people, we gotta reach the people. You understand what I mean? So when we do when we do these protests, we need to meet the people in Central and we need to take the people locally. Why are we all here? Meet here and then we take the people locally. We march to places like Brixton. We march to places like East London. We march to North London. We march to West London. Why are we still in here? This is the kind of things I don't understand. I love this guy. Yeah, 100%. That's the only thing my boy got to say. I love that shit. You just messed that up. No, but for real, for real. For real. The next march, the next march, we need to meet here and we need to march the fuck out of Central. Because. When you stay inside Central, for me, sorry, I'm gonna turn that down. When you march, when you march, in, when you march, when you meet at Central and you're staying Central, you're not reaching the people, you're not reaching the local people. This is how government behave and this is how police behave. The, the 24th, for every march, we need to meet at a at a point, probably march in Oxford Street where a lot of people is, and march the local area and meet the people because the mainstream media is not gonna publish. The people to the people, the peoples need to see the people. The only peoples the peoples have is the peoples themselves. I keep saying it, but a lot of people not re it's not registering a lot of people's head. What did we gain from coming here today? It's all good and well, yeah, we joined together, but what did we gain? We didn't gain no new people here. We didn't gain no new people here. People don't come here central. Look at these buildings. Look at these buildings. You see any local people coming around here? They're not around here, brother. So my thing is this, everybody on the internet, when you're doing the keyboard stuff, start speaking the truth because you're allowing everybody to still be trapped in this mental slavery because you don't want to speak the truth. You don't want to tell people to get the fuck off the keyboard and go and do the work on the street because you guys don't want to upset other people. You understand what I mean? But like, especially grown ass men, what are we doing on the internet every fucking day talking about spending two or three hours on life and talking about what needs to be done? Those times, why you don't you go on the street and, and go and, and go and meet? You know why you can't do it? Because you're not brave enough. Brave on the internet. You understand? I'm not saying this out of no hate. It's just got nothing to do with ego. Because if I've got a big fucking ego, remember, I was doing this when nobody was watching. I've been doing this with one shoes on my feet sometimes. Every fucking day on the street. So when people talk about Remy and say I have an ego, how can I have an ego when I'm a broke man? I don't have money and I'm not trying to rush down these things. How can it make sense? I'm just telling the people, but a lot of people don't like to hear the truth, but they get upset when they're being lied to. People don't want to hear the truth, but they get upset when they're being lied to. I'm asking everybody, guys, we can win this. We can win this. Get the fucking courage. And, and men, don't expect the women to be doing this. Get the courage. Get up. Say, fuck it. Let me arrange three, four, five people. Let me go in my area. Let me stand at a, at, at a train station. Let me get some of these. Let me get some of these. Let me get some of these clip. No, brother, brother, make it stay, make it stay, brother. Let me get some of these clipboards. Let me get some of these billboards. We've shown the people how it can be done. And not a lot of people are brave enough to go to school. I understand that. You don't need to go to the school. Go to the vaccination center because we have the knowledge. We have the knowledge. How do we expect the people to get the knowledge when we're sitting down on the knowledge?